Hello, we're in England doing watercolours. This one is a small, colourful, slightly faded, slightly yellowed, spectacular watercolour. I'll try and explain to you why I like the picture. There's no signature, which is a shame. Um, and I can't attribute the picture. Though it was bought at the same time as another picture of Tasmania, framed in the same way by the artist G Monkhouse RBSA. I don't know whether it's the same artist or not. I think it could be, but I don't know. So we're going to sell it as unattributed. I have rarely seen such a good depiction of craggy, glacial, alpine mountains or hills. It's, he's got the, the, the blue colours to make the, the uh, background vanish into the distance. He's got the foreground painted in, in green, in real green greens. He's got the sky painted really nicely with clouds, swirling clouds. And you have the appearance of this very mass, massive range of hills and mountains. And again, here you have even bluer ones right behind it, again, giving it depth. The detail in this picture is really good. Um, with the watercolour, you can get away with murder as a painter. You can get away with some impressionistic splashes and suggestive splashes. But this is a quite an accurately done painting. And I, I think he would have uh, perhaps used a pencil outline and then fleshed it out with um, a variety of brushes. This is wash like at the front, but then you get down to these areas planting little fields of fruit, fruit trees, I think they are. They're minutely detailed. The actual residues of ice on the top are beautifully painted. The shade is really, really, really well done. You have the, the giveaways here. Uh, I, I think that is an Italian or Spanish looking bridge. Um, I think that this is Alpine. The uh, other place it could be perhaps is the Pyrenees. Um, I don't think it's um, England, but it's not England, because you have the other telltale signs of these, these, these shallow pitched roofs, which are clay tiles. These are pan tiles. Um, it's, 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 it's a southern European type of building. Um, it could be Serbia, it could be down, all the way down there in the, the Mediterranean. It could be up towards uh, Austria inland, you know, it could be up there. But, but I, I think that it's going to be probably Italy or Spain. I'm sorry I can't give you any better information. These are cypress trees, which is another clue. Um, I can't see a religious building. I can't see any other signs that give away the location. It's possible that underneath here, if it was taken out of the frame, you could find more information. It has, even though there's paper missing, the nails haven't been removed. This has never been opened. So I don't know where it is. I think it's a lovely picture. And there's a lot of um, anonymous watercolours around and some of them are worthless. But I think that one has got something going for it. And I, I am glad I bought that one. So that one is available for sale in England. Thank you.